What's up guys, my name is Elias and in today's DSS tutorial I'm going to show you everything needed so that you guys can actually get started doing AliExpress dropshipping with DSS. Now in this video I'm going to show you everything from product research, supplier optimization to actually seamlessly and easily importing all of your products onto your Shopify store within a few clicks. To get started you will just have to create yourself an DSS account. I think with the link down below you are going to get access to a 14 day a paid free trial which you can take advantage of but generally speaking you don't even necessarily need a paid plan when it comes to the assets because most, most of the free features are going to get the job done either way. So once you've successfully created a DSS account, you will also have to connect your DSS account onto Shopify. This is only going to take a couple of seconds and if you guys don't already have a Shopify store, I will actually leave you a link to a Shopify free trial down below. Either way, once you've created yourself a DSS account, this is how it is going to look like. Right here under the home section, you're going to see some action points which you can do, but most of the time you won't actually need this. But let's actually get started with the report section right here on the left. Now this sales report section is going to give you guys an overview of all of the different orders and basically of the profit and so on that you have on your Shopify store. Now in my case as I haven't actually connected my Shopify store nothing shows up right here but for you guys this is then actually going to show up. Now to actually get started using the SS, we will have to first of all install the DSS AliExpress add-on. This is going to be an extension for both Chrome as well as Firefox. So make sure to just click on add to Chrome and then add this extension. This will basically allow us to easily import all sorts of different products from AliExpress. So let's actually now head to AliExpress and once you've installed the DSS add-on, you will just have to click on login right here and this then should automatically connect your DSS add-on onto your DSS account. So in my case this automatically has been done. We can now actually set the default parameters for shipping, for country, currency and so on. In my case I'm just going to quickly change the currency to US dollars. Now the settings correctly got updated. Okay, so let me now actually show you how to do product research and how to actually import products onto your Shopify store. So with the SS, you are actually going to have this product research section right here for completely free. Now I think this is definitely an upside of the SS because on other tools like for example Mania or on Autodesk for example, you will have to actually pay for this feature right here. Now this feature basically is a TikTok ad spy. So with this feature you can see different kind of dropshipping related products that other dropshippers are currently promoting on TikTok. However, generally speaking, I do actually prefer just creating a TikTok burner account and you can actually then use this burner account to actually optimize for only showing dropshipping related videos. In my opinion, that burner account method is just a superior way of actually doing product research but either way this DSS option also is pretty good to get started with and once you've then found the product you can actually use this find suppliers and this supplier optimi optimizer tab right here to basically find the best supplier for your basically for your product. So as you can see for example these would be the products that I do have uh, right now I think imported on my dropshipping store. So either way, if you do then want to actually uh, look go for a product, let's for example say that we do want to go for a uh, air purifier right here. So something like this. Uh, what we can now do is we can either download a picture of the actual product that we do want to sell or we can just put an air purifier right here and now this will actually go through all of the different suppliers on AliExpress and it is then going to give you uh, some of the best selling and the basically the best products out there. This is going to include uh, actual orders, this is going to include shipping times and so on. Now generally speaking I don't really use this feature too much because I actually prefer doing basically what I call private supplier dropshipping. Uh, I use tools like Sandrop and Autodesk for that. And basically the upside of these tools is that you are going to have products with actual faster shipping times and also with higher profit margins. So I will actually leave you a link to both Sandrop as well as Autodesk down below. Either way, once you have then found your product, let's for example go for this uh, air purifier right here. You can then just copy that link and you can then head over to the supplier optimizer tab right here. Then just put in the link. 
And then Autodesk is basically going to analyze all of the different um, air purifiers that there are out there. They are going to be then um, listed by the actual price, amount of sales, re uh, reliability, rating, and so on. So this also is super useful. So let's, for example, now say that uh, we do want to, let's actually look for air purifier Qt. I don't know, maybe something like... Yeah, something like this, I guess, could work. So let's actually say that we do want to dropship this product. In this case, all which we would have to do is simply just clicking on add to the assets right here. Then, as you can see, this has been imported onto the product list. We can then open the import list. And now this is going to show up right here. And all what we now want to, basically all that we now have to do is select the product click on push to store and now we can actually push to the store we can actually also update the preferences now something which you can also do before publishing is that you can actually edit the product so you can edit the title variants description images and so on however generally speaking i like to do that right inside shopify so i personally always just import the product right away and then customize it in shopify so i'm just going to push it to the store right now and as you can see it's going to take a couple of seconds and if we're now going to open up our Shopify admin panel right here on the product li the list uh, if we're now going to refresh this this should actually show up and as you can see now we do have this product right here available and now we would actually have to go over and customize this customize the description make it cleaner make it more branded but basically now we have imported the product onto our Shopify store so some other features which are pretty good on the SS is that with the SS you can easily fulfill all of your orders. Now, once you actually have some orders, these are going to show up right here under AliExpress. And then basically you can just within a few clicks um, basically place all of your orders on AliExpress. Alternatively, if you've actually manually added a product onto your Shopify store, and if you then want to actually fulfill your product with AliExpress, you can do so by simply just mapping your product. To do so, head over to Unmapped, and as you can see right here, you can then see the actual order that you have, and you can then map this to the according uh, AliExpress product simply by just putting in the AliExpress import link right here. Uh, alternatively, you can actually also use the SS to actually add a tracking status and a tracking page. Um, however, in my opinion, this isn't really worth it because this is actually going to be a paid feature only. Um, however, there are actually also three ways of going about this. I, for example, made a tutorial in the, in the past going over a manual, completely free way of adding a tracking page onto your Shopify store. So I will leave you a link down below to get started with that. All in all, I think the SS is a great way of doing AliExpress dropshipping. I think this My Product section right here, as well as the import list, is pretty useful, but I personally do prefer a private dropshipping tools like AutoDS and SendDrop. I will leave you a link to all of the tools mentioned down below.